Hello and welcome to this short tutorial presentation of ADS getting started. This is basically two parts tutorial. In the first part tutorial, we will uh, look at some of the ADS basic functionalities to do simple circuit simulations and manipulating data display. In the second part of this video, we will look a little bit more about real time tuning of circuits using ADS uh, tuning options and then uh, there will be few more advanced videos talking about few more uh, features in ADS like Monte Carlo analysis, optimization and so on. To get started, I have ADS 2009 update 1 release on my PC. Anything in ADS would you like to do? Uh, first thing you need to do is create a new project as can be seen here using file new project option and in the path which is set as per your installation we can give uh, some uh, project name so this exercise let's choose getting started project and uh, in the project we can set the units as per our desired um, uh, format uh, which is between millimeters mils or microns as per uh, one's wish so let's pick up millimeters to start with and you click ok so once the new project gets created as you can see right now it's blank because we are yet to make any circuits or schematics in this now uh, in your installation if you're trying to run ADS you may see in few windows pop up like a schematic or layout I have switched off all of them using these tools preferences icon whereby I can set my own preference of the way ADS switches on so I switched off some initial uh, schematic wizard uh, create initial layout uh, window or schematic window and so on right so once we are in this project to get started with ADS we can switch on this schematic view and in this schematic file we can have uh, different uh, libraries as can be seen here so for this exercise because just a basic uh, getting started video uh, let's take up this lumped component library which gives us access to these register inductors capacitors and so on now for this example I will create a very simple low pass uh, filter type of topology and try to run uh, certain simulations on the same let's pick inductor and let me place few inductors on my screen as can be seen here and then I can place a capacitors and press ctrl R to rotate the capacitors and place them in a shunt fashion now to grounding this capacitors I can pick up this ground and ground uh, some of these capacitors and use a wire icon to quickly wire up these components together please note these are ideal interconnects and they do not have any parasitics or any other uh, layout interconnect uh, effects as such right so once we have our DUT uh, the circuit which we are trying to uh, simulate we are ready to to start our simulation this is essentially the simplest one to start with is an S parameter simulation so a lot of these templates have been already saved in ADS for a new user and same can be accessed from going to insert template and inside template we can just pick uh, as parameters based on our requirement once we click on these templates and click on schematic you can see there are few items which comes along uh, in the template so I can place these termination at the required places just in case you are using more than two ports kind of network you can copy paste one of these terminations at different locations so in my setup I have two terminations uh, termination one at input termination two at output and one param S parameter controller dialog box which is the essential requirement to perform S parameter simulation now we can double click on these S parameters and set the start frequency as 1 megahertz the stop frequency as 500 megahertz and then number of points as per our wish so right now I'm choosing 101 uh, frequency points now when we place this um, template uh, you notice there's one display template also comes along which is essentially to plot the data display in a particular format so that something automatically pops up and user need not to to you know design the data display in 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 some of the formats all right so now once we are done we can save this schematic before simulation and let me give it a name called lab one and once the schematic is saved as you can see the the project window has one new schematic called lab1 and I'm ready to simulate in order to simulate I can just press on this gear icon 
which brings up this status dialog and once the simulation finishes I can see a data display popping up automatically. Now because of the data display use uh, template used in the schematic I can see the data display comes out in a particular format by having two smith charts and two rectangular x and y plots. Now if I don't want to see these smith charts I can change their type to a rectangular x y plot by double clicking on it and changing it to rectangular plot. Now in order to change the units I can just do a single click on these um, y axis label and type db which will in turn change it into a db scale and then I can auto scale it back. Now in order to prepare our circuit for uh, tuning in as in lab number two um, we can assign some variables to these values so that in we can reduce the number of items to be tuned and for that we can bring up this variable block and define uh, some variables for example my l1 and let's give it a value called 10 and apply and similarly we can do my l2 and add this time so that more and more variables can get added here in my list for capacitors let's choose my c1 and i'm keeping all of these values the same as 10 so that i can tune it further so right now I have all the values defined um, in my schematic and then I can just simply pass on these values here um, by, by simply uh, single click and changing the name to the respective variable names. While doing this uh, kindly take note that ADS is case sensitive so you should be typing in the same case as you have defined in the variables. So now I've already done the inductors now I can just quickly do the capacitors to the desired variable names and once we are done we would be ready to perform simulation and go to the second part of this demonstration which talks about the tuning of this uh, circuit in real time to see the component behavior so once I'm done let me save uh, this and start the simulator which outlines some of these uh, graphs thanks for watching this um, tutorial video stay tuned for second part of this video which talks about uh, tuning uh, of these parameters and adjust the response. Thank you very much.